Right, this is the first of four examples on balancing oxidation reduction reactions. And um, for this particular one, uh, this will just be uh, balancing for a system that's an acid solution. All right, we'll start with the first example here, which is going to be uh, permanganate plus H2C2O4 oxalic acid forming manganese 2 ion plus CO2. And um, there's multiple steps in this problem, as you will see. And so the first thing we want to do is break um, the reaction up into two half reactions. The first half reaction is permanganate forming manganese 2. The second half reaction is um, oxalic acid forming CO2. <clears throat> now this method is not based on the number of electrons transferred um, during the redox reaction. So it's a kind of a different process. <clears throat> There's four or five different methods for balancing these reactions. All right, so the first thing we want to do is balance the mass <clears throat> Four elements other than hydrogen and oxygen. So I like to rewrite what I have in the last step again, uh, makes it just easier for me to see it rather than just trying to go back and forth fixing uh, the first entry up there. So I, this is a little bit more systematic for me. All right, so we're going to balance the mass. So we're looking at the manganese. The manganese is balanced. The second half reaction, the carbon uh, is not balanced. So you need to put a two there to, um, to balance that. All right, the next step then is to um, balance oxygen by adding to the side that needs it. So I'm going to rewrite again, uh, MnO4, permanganate, oops, Mn2+, oxalic acid, and two CO2s. Now I am going to um, take care of the oxygen in the first half reaction. We have four oxygens on the left. So we're going to add four waters to the right-hand side. Now we have four oxygens on both sides. And the second half reaction ha already has four oxygens on each side. So we just leave that alone. All right, so the next step then will be to balance hydrogen by adding H plus to the side that needs it. Okay, so rewrite it again. Okay, and now we're looking at the hydrogen. So the first half reaction has eight hydrogens on the left hand side. We're going to add H plus to the left hand side and then the second half reaction has two hydrogens on the left so we're going to add two H plus on the right hand side okay the next step will be to give it a different color here um, the next step will be to balance the charge by adding electrons to the side that needs it. All right, and I'm going to rewrite it again. So we have 8H plus 
plus MnO4 minus forms Mn2 plus 4H2O, H2C2O4 forms two CO2s plus 2H plus. All right, now uh, the trick here is to count the charge correctly. You have eight positive charges plus one negative charge. So this makes the left-hand side plus seven overall. The right-hand side is plus two overall. And so we want to add five negative electrons to the left-hand side so that both sides have the same charge. It does not have to be equal. They do not have to be uh, equal to zero. They just have to be equal to each other. So five negatives plus eight positives plus one negative is two positive. And that's what you have on the right-hand side. Uh, on the second reaction, you can add two electrons here so that you have two positives and two negatives. And it's neutral, zero. And that's the case for the left-hand side. All right, then um, the next step, that part's kind of messy there. The next step, would be to make the electrons equal by multiplication. And then you're going to cancel and add. All right, and I'm going to write it over again. So. 5 electrons plus 8H plus plus permanganate forms manganese, whoops, manganese 2 plus 4H2O and then H2C2O4, 2 CO2s plus 2H plus plus 2, two electrons. So here you would multiply the first reaction times 2, the second reaction times 5, so that you have 10 electrons <coughs> on each side. So you're balancing the electrons. So this will give us um, another line, I guess. 10 electrons plus 16 H plus, 2 permanganate, 2 manganese 2 plus, and 8 waters. Then we have 5 oxalic acids forming 10 CO2s, 10 H plus, and 10 electrons. All right, then cancel the electrons. 10 H pluses cancel with 10 here. You get six left over. And I think that's it. So you got five H2C2O4 plus six H plus plus two MnO4 minus forms two Mn2 plus plus 8 H2O plus 10 CO2s and then uh, what else here? I think that looks pretty good. Uh, if that's the answer and notice that uh, it is an acid solution so you know, the initial assumption of the problem is that it's in acid solution. There's more steps if it's in base, but I show that in a couple of later examples. Um, probably a good idea to check here. So make a list of everything. We've got hydrogen, manganese, oxygen, carbon, and then the charge. So you have on the left-hand side, um, 
Let's see, there's 16 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, there's going to be 16. Oops, I don't need to say hydrogen twice there. All right, and then there's two manganese on the left, two on the right. There are 28 oxygens on the left and 28 oxygens on the right. And then the carbon is 10 and 10. And here's the tricky part. The charges have to balance as well. And if they don't, you made a mistake and you got to go back and do it all over again. All right, so we have here six positives plus two negatives. That's going to make it plus four on this side. Then you have two times plus two is plus four on the other side. So you have plus four and plus four. So then it's balanced. All right, stay tuned for some of my other examples.